These are the problems that I'm going to be doing today. This is the first in a series of videos where I'm going to cover most of what you'll need to know in terms of set notation at first year university level. So let's go back to the problems. So up here we're given an expression for A and this is a set. A is a set. The curly brackets indicate that it's a set and it contains a number of elements. Maybe a finite number, maybe an infinite number of elements. In this case A contains three elements and these three elements are the numbers 1, 2 and 3. So is this first statement true or false? Well what does this little symbol mean? It's read as is an element of. So the statement is 1 is an element of A. And I just said that before that A contains three elements, the numbers 1, 2 and 3, and so certainly 1 is an element of A. This is true. What about this statement? The set 1 is an element of A. Well, A only contains three elements, the numbers 1, 2 and 3, and so the set containing the number 1 is certainly not an element of A, and so this is false. What about 4 is an element of A? Well, 4 is not an element of A. A has only got three elements, 1, 2 and 3, and so 4 is not an element of A. So this is false. What about this statement for A? Now this is true because with sets, the first thing is that we ignore repetition. So if you want to write down the number 1 twice, well that's fine. A still only got three elements, the elements 1, 2 and 3. And also we ignore order. So the fact that I've put the 2 after the 3 doesn't change the fact that this, uh, this set still contains three elements, 1, 2 and 3, and so it is, it is A. So this is true. What about this statement? The set containing the numbers 1 and 3 is an element of A. Well, this is false. As we said, A only contains three elements, the numbers 1, 2 and 3. What about this one? 1 is a... Well, oh, whoa, oh, 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 what's this symbol? Well, this symbol is read as is a subset of. So this is saying 1 is a subset of A. So what's a subset? Well, the first thing is it's got the word set in it. A subset is a set. And the second thing is, is that a subset of A must contain only none, some, or all of the elements of A. Now in this case here, 1 is not a set, and so it can't be a subset. So this is false. The final one statement that we've got involving A is this thing here. The set containing the numbers 1 and 3 is a subset of A. True or false? Well, in this case, this is a set and it contains only some of the elements of A, and so it is a subset. Before I go on to the problems with B and C, I'll just let you know that I've got a, a large number of videos in this Made Easy playlist where I go through solutions to typical problems at high school or late high school, first, first, second year university level mathematics. So have a look at them if you're interested in any other aspects of mathematics. I've also got other videos including things like the number E is everywhere, how JPEG works using only basic high school maths, and an introduction to the Riemann hypothesis. So have a look at my channel if you're interested in any of those type of videos. Let's now go back to our problems and we'll go to B. So we're given this expression for B. Is this true or false? Well, is it a set? True or false? Is it a set? Well, there's nothing that I said that says that um, sets can only contain numbers. They can contain other things. So in this case, B has got three elements. It's got the number one, the word dog, and the set containing the number three. So this is a perfectly valid set. And the elements of B, well I've just said what they are. The number one, the word dog, and the set containing the number three. So finally this expression for C, this is a set. Well is it a set? Well it's got the curly brackets right on the outside. It contains three elements. So it's a set. So what are the elements? The, num uh, the number two, the set containing the number 2, and the set containing the set containing the number 2. A perfectly valid set. So that's it for set elements and subsets made easy. I hope you found it useful.